Quad 6.6. Six. So, uh, motor or ESC PWM, uh, the JESC 48 kilohertz, uh, should you do it? So if you don't know the background on this, um, is that, so the standard uh, Biela Heli um, is at 32 PWM. I don't know exactly what PWM stands for, but anyways, it's uh, at 24 kilohertz. And that's kind of the standard. But what people have been finding, especially on whoops and small motors, is the 48 kilohertz is working a lot better. The reason it's working better is because it's more efficient, because there's less non-regenerative braking going on, and you're getting an increase in flight time. Um, there's less data, or I've seen less things about, you know, these guys and whether you should be doing it or not. So I've been trying a bunch, and I feel like I should give you my impressions on it. Uh, this is not settled at this point in time, like settled signs, but... Well, this is what I feel at this point in time. On these 1102s um, with high KV and these light little 65 millimeter props, on this type of a setup and a lightweight build, I think you should absolutely use it. The main reasons for that is partially the efficiency, but I think it's actually the smoothness. For me, I've been getting really nice results with a 48 uh, JESC 48 kilohertz and um, I like the way it flies better. As a bonus, I've been picking up, you know, probably 30, 40 seconds of flight time, which is a nice little bonus. So that's that. So for 1102s, real lightweight 65 millimeter props, easy to spin, use it. I don't see much downside. I don't feel like you lose, uh, you don't have to retune it. Um, it feels like it, uh, it doesn't get mushy. It just, it works. This, on the other hand, is a little bit more complicated. So these are the FPV cycle, um, uh, 1202.5s made by RCN Power, and they're uh, 11,000, is it 500 kV? How much? Or just, yeah, 11,500 kV, and these are with the 3016 Gemfran props. This one is a, well, maybe use it. So, um, one of the issues with going up to the 48 kilohertz is that you lose some of that braking strength. So that braking there, that damping, is what gets rid of the floatiness. So for example, if you've got a prop with a lot of inertia or kind of under prop or over prop sort of setup like this sort of borderline is, then you lose some of the control. So with this, um, what happens? There's some pros and cons and they're, there's, they're more balanced. This one, I feel like the pros and cons, the pros just outweigh it. Just go do it. This one, I don't know. Um, I like flying this one better on 24 kilohertz, but I do see probably 30, 40 second increase on flight time on this with the JAC 48 kilohertz. So what that happens is on the 450 milliamp batteries, this becomes more viable with 48 kilohertz. On the other hand, if you've got the 600 milliamp batteries, that flight time, just the difference to me feels a little bit more negligible because it's a longer flight time overall. And on the heavier battery with these, to me, this starts to get really mush mushy. So on the heavier battery, I, yes, this carries weight better um, than this, but weight still matters. These, you still got, this is still 1S. You still got to mind the weight. And especially when you're sticking the weight way down below prop line, I. I don't know, maybe it's the battery, maybe it's um, uh, 40, my 450s are the lithium ion high volt versus the 600s are the regular LiPo. Maybe that's some of it, but I, to me, I think I feel a difference. I think I could go flying back to back blind and tell you which one is the 450 and I like it better on this. So I'm kind of stuck in a funny place where I like the way this flies on 24 with a 600 milliamp battery but I think on the 450 battery with the JESC 48 kilohertz, it's like pretty close to where, I don't know, like I'm thinking if, if I just stick with the 450 milliamp batteries, just do this on 48 kilohertz and then maybe like work on a tune a little bit to get it there. Or if I'm just gonna go and buy a bunch of those 600 milliamp batteries, I'm probably just gonna leave this on 24 kilohertz. I don't know, it's, and it's hard to tell. So it's a pain in the butt when you gotta go, I can't, it's not just like two different PIDs where you can throw it on, um, you can just you know, flip back and forth really quick. This is like, you gotta stick it on the computer and reflash it. I don't have two identical builds. So it's hard to fly back to back, but I've been trying to do that and 
it's just a really like I don't know what's better. Um, so, but what I think is if if you have a bunch of 450 milliamp batteries, then you probably want to do JESC 48 kilohertz on this. If you're buying a bunch of the 600s, um, if you like a real sharp feel, you're probably better off with the 24 uh, kilohertz. However, if you're kind of cruising and just want to fly for a long time and you don't care about how sharp it is, then probably 48 kilohertz. I think you still pick up a little flight time. Um, oh, and, and the other reason, so the other reason that this decision is so hard because on this one, the 48 kilohertz really smooths out the throttle. The throttle on this without 4 k it's, it's smooth either way. So you're not getting really a benefit on the 48 kilohertz from the smoothness. This is just, it's just smooth. Like you don't need more smooth, like butter's already smooth. Like you can't get smoother. So, um, I don't know. Is, is that helpful at all? Uh, a nice, I don't know discussion. In the comments, if you've been messing with this, if you're going back and forth, please comment on uh, if you've been seeing difference in flight time, difference in flight characteristics. Because uh, I, you know, I don't know, maybe I, I'd like some other people to chime in and see what they're feeling so I can kind of formalize what I'm thinking. Uh, Till next time. Cheers.